Vanguard Group, the second largest asset manager in the entire world, just declared they have no intention of filing for a spot Bitcoin ETF. Welcome back, everyone. Hope that you had a great weekend. Obviously, no shortage of news, no shortage of drama. So the story we're talking about today is the CEO of Vanguard coming out and just explaining that, hey, we are not going to be doing a Bitcoin ETF. This is not the strategy for our investors or our investor group. Anyways, we're going to dive into this um, because, see, so when I, uh, before I ever found Bitcoin and let's say, you know, uh, around the year, I don't know, 2007 or something like that, um, I had discovered, I had discovered Vanguard. More specifically, I discovered John C. Bogle's work and uh, John was the, essentially the founder, the creator of the Vanguard group. And um his his investment style struck a chord with me. And again, guys, I'm just saying this for the sake of it. This is not investing advice. I'm just explaining my story and why I think that this is important. So Vanguard has always been uh, more or less a safe bet, right? They they do their research. You, you don't hear about massive blowups around them, uh, massive scandals, and they just keep making money for their investors, right? They, they, they seem to invest in good quality companies that offer uh, that that offer good free cash flow and and that offer uh, essentially good returns because they are cash generating businesses. So, anyways, uh, let's let's dive into this article because I don't think that their position on Bitcoin is necessarily so black and white. So let's go. Tim Buckley, chairman and CEO at Vanguard Group. The world's second largest asset manager stated that the company has no plans to pursue a Bitcoin spot exchange traded fund. He elaborated on Vanguard's investment philosophy, which centers on asset classes with, and here's the key, right, guys, intrinsic value and cash flows. According to him, Bitcoin, like gold, doesn't align with their criteria for long term term investment. So if you understand how Vanguard works, Vanguard specifically likes the prospect of equities, stocks and bonds. Michael Saylor believes that once the SEC grants approval for a spot Bitcoin ETF, the leading cryptocurrency could experience a tenfold increase in its value. Bernstein Research also joins the chorus of optimism regarding the SEC's potential approval of a spot Bitcoin ETF. The firm contends that the regulatory decision may come as early as January 10th. This We're hearing this from multiple sources, driven by various factors, a move the firm noted when complemented by the upcoming Bitcoin having expected in April. BTC price may go parabolic. All right, yeah, so we've got all the hopium there. So but there's there's some interesting pieces about this, right? Because it's not so, like as I said in the beginning, it's not so cut and dry, Vanguard's exposure. So for people who think, oh, well, Vanguard is completely staying out of Bitcoin. No, they aren't. And we're going to take a look at how. So back in July of 2023, right? So the, this past summer, Vanguard now owns 560 million worth of Bitcoin mining stocks. So this is essentially how Vanguard is going to play their position in Bitcoin. They are purchasing the mining stocks, the publicly traded companies, specifically their shares. Asset manager Vanguard Group has upped its exposure to Bitcoin mining companies. Monday filings with the Securities and Exchange Commission show increasing its stake in the industry to over half a billion dollars. Keep in mind, uh, Vanguard has trillions of dollars uh, under uh, under management. So half a billion dollars is really a drop in the bucket for them. But again, we're we're looking at the we're looking at the overall signal and we're paying attention to what businesses are doing not necessarily what they are saying, right? Because it's two different things, unfortunately. So the financial industry heavyweight, which manages 7.2 trillion in assets, bought more stock from Riot Platforms and Marathon Digital. Vanguard Group upped its Marathon Digital holdings by 60% from 10.9 million shares to 
1.5 million shares. The investment company also increased its stake in Colorado-based Bitcoin miner Riot blockchain by nearly 18% from 15.2 million shares to 17.9 million or over $281 million US in stock. A new cryptocurrency exchange backed by top Wall Street names, Charles Schwab, Citadel Securities, and Fidelity Digital Assets launched last month. EDX Markets lets its traders, institutional investors only, buy assets, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, and Ethereum. Okay, so I think that this is very interesting because this kind of goes back to something that I said previously, which is after the FTX blow up, Lunaterra, BlockFi, Celsius, three arrows cap, all of this good stuff, right? This is exactly what I've been saying, and I'm sure some other Bitcoiners have been saying as well. The legacy, it's not about the legacy money coming to Bitcoin. It's about the institutions, okay? And I'm not saying that like, oh, I'm so excited for them to come here. I'm explaining their playbook, right? Like, so what's happening is, is that, hey, they saw the billions of dollars that they can make by doing virtually nothing, okay? So you got to understand, they figured out that they can enrich themselves like crazy with shit coins. So the only reason they're setting up all of these rails, it's not for Bitcoin, okay? I, I know, like, I look, I, I'm, I'm Bitcoin only. I believe in Bitcoin. I don't buy shit coins. I don't trade shit coins. I don't trade Bitcoin. I don't do any of these things. But I do understand, I do understand that these people want to make money for doing very little. And that is, to be perfectly honest, the majority of humanity, right? You want to maximize how much you can make for as little effort as possible. That's it's just the way it works. Sorry, you know, the human condition at its core, which I know is going to be contentious, is laziness. And if you think it isn't, think of how we innovate, right? We innovate in order to make our lives easier because our core is laziness. <laughs> Anyways, whatever. It doesn't even matter. The point being, okay, the point being is, is that they are setting up their own walled garden, as we've stated, okay? And now here you go. They have their own little, right? They're their own little crypto exchange that is only for the institutional investors, right? Let's go take a look. Let's go take a look at, at EDX, right? So, and let's take a look at, at who they're backed by. You are most likely going to recognize some of the names that back this EDX exchange. Citadel Securities, Fidelity Digital Assets, Virtue Financial, Charles Schwab, Sequoia, and Paradigm. This is another way, this is another way that the the legacy money comes to this space and uh, essentially begins to plant its flag and start to become a gatekeeper, which don't get me wrong, they never lost their, their gatekeeper status. They never lost their gatekeeper status. Um, so look, going back to this whole thing about Vanguard's exposure to Bitcoin and the spot Bitcoin ETF, there is a whole lot of noise. The noise is going to continue, okay? Just because a business like Vanguard that has no interest in having a Bitcoin spot ETF doesn't mean that they don't understand the big picture. What it means is, is that they have a certain style of investing, okay? This is something that they've been doing from the beginning. It's been a proven track record for Vanguard. And so they're just sticking to it. Um, there's very, very few businesses that stick to their ethos. Uh, a lot of them pivot. Um, you can you can actually take a look uh, even at businesses like Berkshire Hathaway, which of course I am not a fan of Charlie Munger or his ridiculous comments about Bitcoin and how he wants to keep the fiat system intact because it's been so good to him and his wealthy cronies. Um, but the reality is, is that they do not stray. And when I say they, I'm talking about Berkshire Hathaway, I'm talking about Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger. They do not stray from their investment thesis. They stick to the same exact thing. And um, in, in terms of uh, proof of that, Berkshire Hathaway didn't invest anything in the dot-com bubble. They and, and Warren Buffett said it straight up. He didn't understand technology. He, ju he just simply, he didn't understand it, so he couldn't invest in it. And I think that there's an important takeaway from that, right? Um, that taught me a lot when I first got into equities um, that I had to understand, I, if I couldn't explain how a business makes a profit in less than two minutes, 
I shouldn't own the stock. And that kind of that kind of stuck with me. Um, it it really resonated with me. And that's with Bitcoin though. I can honestly say that I did not follow that. I started to purchase. I started to uh, purchase Bitcoin long before I began to understand it. Uh, that that is for sure. But again, I came to Bitcoin from the medium of exchange side, so I wasn't really looking at it. Um, in terms of a store of value, in terms of uh, government censorship resistant. Like for me, I came to it, it was just internet money. Um, so yeah, anyways, I, I'm going to keep rambling on and on. But guys, look, the the Vanguard stuff, I, to me, they're just doing what they know how to do. I don't really care that they're not going to that they're not going to apply for a spot Bitcoin ETF. Somebody might try to use this type of news as FUD because they're the second largest asset manager in the world. And it's like, Hey, look, this is, this is a red flag. It's not a red flag. Um, it, it's just, they're doing what they know how to do. And second largest asset manager, apparently, apparently they care more about what they're doing than some government agencies when it comes to managing money. Anyways, anyways, that's just my opinion. All right, guys, that wraps up the clip for today. Let me know what you think of this whole Vanguard situation. Put it in the comments. Like, subscribe, help us grow the channel. I'm going to catch you guys all tomorrow.